Mr. King's Constitutional Crisis Mr. King was having a lovely day. He was having kippers for breakfast that had been flown in especially for him from the Isle of Mr. Man. As he ate, he worried about climate change and how he and his best friend Mr. Scab could marshal a plan to stop it. Mr. King didn't like to make decisions himself. He found it far easier to hand the decision-making over to foreign billionaires with transhumanist ideas. Suddenly there was a knock on the door. It was Mr. Shitsack from the Conservative and Unionist Party, and he looked worried. Why does one look so worried, Mr. Shitsack? asked Mr. King. Oh, it's terrible, Mr. King, said Mr. Shitsack. We had a general election yesterday, and it didn't go the way me or Mr. Stomer planned it. Does one still allow them to vote? Mr. King asked, confused. Well, we pretend to, said Mr. Shitsack. We have convinced most of the general population not to bother. They think it's a waste of time. Well, that's fantastic, said Mr. King. Thank you for keeping one up to date. No, Your Highness, you don't understand. Yesterday they did bother to vote, and they didn't vote for the Uni Party. Who did those people vote for? asked Mr. King. No one, said Mr. Shitsack. They wrote on the ballot that they do not consent. And is that a problem? asked Mr. King. Of course it's a problem, you sausage-fingered adulterer. We can't do anything now. We can't tax them, we can't make any laws, and we can't police them. We are fucked. Mr. King looked horrified. Put the television on. It's all over the news, said Mr. Shitsack. Here I am in Happy Town, talking to Norman Normal. He is one of the people who spoiled their ballot and voted I do not consent. Mr. Normal, why did you vote I do not consent? In a world where politics reign supreme and our leaders strut about like peacocks, there's a little thing called voting. But some folks have had enough of the same old song and dance, the same lies and broken promises. So they are shouting from the rooftops, I do not consent, and causing quite a stir. So what didn't you consent to? You see, Parliament thinks it's the big cheese, declaring itself sovereign and all. But hold your horses. The real bosses are normal people like me, and we're not afraid to show it. By not voting, you're basically saying, I'm cool with whatever you lot decide. Wouldn't it be better not to vote then and just stay at home instead of causing all these constitutional issues? Some reckon staying at home on election day is the way forward. But let me tell you, that's like letting a bunch of chimps run the zoo. You want change, you've got to get in the ring and throw your punches. You sound like a right-wing extremist, Mr. Normal, are you? Don't you dare try to brand me like that. I don't care if you're male, female, straight, gay, black, white, or any color of the rainbow. My best friend is orange. You do sound anti-monarchy. I am all for the monarchy when they are doing the job they should be doing, instead of behaving like some lame Disney World tourist attraction. They are there to uphold the people's rights under the Constitution. Don't you feel bad for causing all these problems for Mr. King? Listen, I have a message for Mr. King. If you don't want to do your job and look after the people's rights and uphold the Constitution, f*** off. Mr. King was shocked, and he didn't know what to do. He spent that afternoon reading the Happy Land Constitution and was overjoyed to see that the people in the past had a solution to his troubles. He hadn't realized that he hadn't been doing his job properly. He thought being a tourist attraction was his job, and he couldn't have been more wrong. He was amazed the people of Happy Land had put up with it for so long. So long, in fact, that it had stopped being Happy Land altogether and steadily morphed into downright miserable land. In his heart, he was happy that the people had written, I do not consent, because when he looked at it more closely, neither did he. His one job was to make sure that the people of Happy Land were indeed happy, and he set about to make that happen. Well, that's the end of this little tale, and it was the end of Mr. Shitsack and Mr. Stommer too, but that's for next time. Look out for our next story. Mr. King fixes everything.